Hey, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of this Low Pro M Trekker BP150 camera bag. Something that I know a few of my subscribers have certainly been asking for from a video I did a little while ago. So let's jump into it. Just before we jump into the review of the bag, I'd like to introduce this location. We are at Burley Heads National Park on the Gold Coast, Australia. It's a very beautiful spot here with, as you can see behind me, uh, plenty of sort of driftwood that contrasts really well to these black rocks along the water side of the headland. I've got Talabudra Creek just over to the left-hand side of me here. And the whole walk stretching around the entire length of the headland is absolutely beautiful to do, especially on a sunny weekend like we've got today. Now let's get into the review. There's a video that I did a little while ago, which was what's in my camera bag. And at that time, it wasn't long since I'd actually got this bag. Now that was probably posted about six months ago at this stage. And since then I've been using this camera bag the entire time. And as you can see from the outside, this is something I really like to do. Uh, these are just a few of the locations I've traveled to. If I can get a sort of sew on patch from there and basically cover the bag, it, it just adds a bit of personality onto the bag and I, I really like the, the style and feel and look of how this is. But anyway, that's aside from the point. Now, the camera bag has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, at this stage, there's no rips or tears and having had it since probably January this year or 2020, the bag has held up very, very well. It's made from a Canvex material, which honestly, I've got no idea what that does, but Lowepro says that it repels water. And so far I haven't had any of my gear drown when I've been out in rain, so that's a positive sign, I guess. The straps on the back are pretty good. Now, I, in the travel accessories video I filmed in Mackay, uh, I spoke about this, which is the Peak Design Capture Clip V3 and I transferred it from one of my previous bags onto this one and it works an absolute treat. Uh, it's great for just walking around, traveling, and overall having a, a great place to store your camera if you need both of your hands while you're out photographing. The straps could probably do with a little bit of uh, added thickness into it. Well, not so much thickness because it is quite padded here, but probably just a little bit more uh, width in the actual straps for uh, carrying a slightly heavier load and I've got quite broad shoulders so these after probably five or six hours of walking around if I'm traveling somewhere uh, they may start to actually cut in. The breathability section on the back of the bag as well is quite good. It does let air coming through these areas so if you've got a little bit of a breeze when you're walking around it makes it quite nice and pleasant uh, without getting too much of a sweaty back which is kind of a horrible thing when you're walking around with a camera bag. Just before we go to the internal of the bag, and sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise, the wind has just picked up before I started recording, which is Murphy's Law. The straps on the bottom here are fantastic for holding your tripod. Now, I use quite a decent size Siri tripod, which you've seen featured in a couple of my other videos, but having the straps on the bottom, and the, my tripod sticks out about here, but with a general travel tripod, it. It fits pretty well into the profile and sidelines of the bag. The best thing though is that these are on the bottom. The reason being is when you've got a tripod stuck to the side of your camera bag and you're walking along, so say for example it's on this side, the bag actually starts to pull, which then starts to pull heavier on one shoulder and can really give you sore muscles at the end of a long day. Or just in general, it's quite uncomfortable to walk with a bag that's kind of sideways. So actually having this on the bottom keeps the weight centralized and makes the entire carrying experience a lot more comfortable. Jumping in from the front here, we've got a zipper pocket here. And this is where I just keep all of my general accessories, a microfiber cloth, an SD card carrying case, uh, some business cards, a multi-tool, and a few other things that I mentioned in the travel accessories video as well. So I will link that in the top corner of the video. So 
It's okay. It's quite a slim pocket, like there's not a huge amount of give. So if you're trying to rummage around and search for something, it's not really that uh, that comfortable sometimes, if you, especially if you've got a lot of stuff in here. One thing to be aware is that there are no locking zips on this bag, which is one of my gripes with it. So this, for me, is almost the perfect camera bag, except for a few little gripes, and no locking zips is one of them. And same thing with this top pocket. There's obviously two tags here. I, I don't see why Lopro couldn't just find a way to have them lock, just to add that little bit of extra security. Now, speaking of the top pocket, in here I actually have the drone remote and my Mavic 2 Pro, which is really, really convenient that they fit absolutely perfectly. But apart from that, it's just an empty top section. What I've done is from an old backpack, I actually attach this key tag, uh, simply because when I'm walking around, if I don't need to have keys in my pocket, but I want to keep them attached somewhere, so I've always got a reference point if I've got a jacket or something like that in the, in the top section of the bag. Having a key hook is a very helpful thing, so I pulled this off of an old bag that I don't use anymore and just sewed it on myself. That's another one of my gripes with this bag. On this back section here, I would really love to see some, some kind of internal storage, something like that, because you know it's handy just to have a little notebook, a little pen, something like that, uh, a key hook, somewhere that we can just store a couple of extra accessories that aren't needed in the main front pouch, but are super handy to have and very great to have when traveling. Lopro, if you're listening, just please make these few tiny changes because this backpack is absolutely awesome. If it just had these few minor tweaks to it, I think it would turn out to be pretty much the perfect backpack. That's it for the internal section. And there is a bit of storage in here, so you can put a jumper, a jacket, something like that in there, and still walk around quite comfortably with this camera or this bag on your back. The backpack opens up from the back, which I think is a necessity in pretty well every camera bag because it adds a massive amount of security. Uh, again, it's got two zippers down here, so two sort of zipper sections. As we open this up, we've got quite a good space inside. And uh, from the outside, the backpack doesn't look too big, but from the actual inside, it looks, it certainly takes up as much room as we can fit. Uh, up here, these two little uh, elastic, elast elasticated? Elastic? Elasticated? These two elastic slots. They're designed for SD cards to put in the little plastic case that you get with them so you can slide it in there. But what I've done is I used the Rode Wireless Go microphones. They fit absolutely perfectly into these, these two little slots. So because I've got an SD card wallet in the front, I have these two open that, were, that actually make for a great little um, storage space. These two are actually a really great size for quite a number of things, but for me, the microphones are great. On this section here, we have got two mesh zipper pockets, which are great. They work as you'd expect. There's zipper pockets. They take quite a bit of space in there and they work quite well. Now, the last thing on this section is we've got a pocket here. It's designed for an iPad, but what I actually use it for is a 13 inch 2018 or 2018 MacBook Pro, and that fits perfectly in this little slot. I also keep this thing in here, which is a lens skirt, but I'll talk about that in a different video in the future when we're allowed to travel a bit more again. But this does take a 13 inch, very slimline MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, something like that, uh, and just locks in with a little Velcro slip in there. So it's quite handy to have that space. Now the main compartment, I have this configured right now for the Canon EOS R5, which is what I'm filming on. And I've got three lenses in here. So the 15 to 35, which is what we're filming on now, that fits in here pretty well perfectly. Then we've got the RF 24 to 70 f2.8, and then the RF 70 to 200 f2.8. This is obviously interchangeable. Um, it's there's only relatively limited Velcro straps and stuff on the sides. It's not sort of all Velcro, so you don't have massive customization. It works pretty well for what I need it for right now. I have also worked out that I can shift it around a bit and I would probably be able to fit two R5 bodies with the three lenses, two mounted of course, into this one backpack space. So, <laughs> 
It's, it's actually quite handy because I've also got a, a filter pouch with some circular filters in here as well. Everything I'm talking about as well is linked in the description down below. So for my final thoughts on the bag, honestly, it's nearly the perfect camera bag. You'd probably see from the title of this video that I already mentioned that, but for my use, I've used it for a lot of my commercial jobs that I don't need flashes and all that sort of stuff for. So if I don't need flash gear, this is the bag I'll take my equipment in. It's great for travel. It's a super lightweight bag just in the bag itself. And that's that certainly plays a big factor when it comes to travel, especially air travel, because the lighter the bag, but the more functionality it has, the better result you, or the more you can actually take with you or just keep a lighter kit overall in general. So being able to fit a full frame mirrorless Canon R5 body is super, super handy. Also being able to carry multiple lenses, a filter pouch, a drone in the top section. If I don't need the drone, I can carry some extra things. It works as a half and half backpack too. There's just so many great things that I love about this backpack. And it has been, like you've seen on the front, it's been to quite a few different places with me already and a lot more to go as well. If you're thinking about buying this bag or looking for a great travel camera bag, I would absolutely recommend this to you. If Low Pro is watching, please just take into consideration some of those minor changes that would just take this, the functionality of this bag to a whole new level that would just round out the edges and give it that extra little bit of functionality that myself as a travel photographer and many others, I believe would find it very, very helpful. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe with the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos as they're released. See you in the next one. Oh, oh, dead leg, oh.